Hey, it's uh, C.J. Miller. I'm in my apartment in Shreveport, Louisiana. Uh, we're right across the Red River from beautiful Bossier City, Louisiana. Please do come check us out. And uh, yeah, I'm in one of my favorite shirts that I love to wear to like concerts and festivals. It's very bright, very, uh, yeah, you know, very bold, which is good. You know, uh, I, I'm, I'm kind of a, I actually have kind of a shy nature, but, you know, uh, a good way to get out of that is to just make yourself, uh, just get out in the world. Uh, anyway, and I, I find out that I actually love people. Um, so we're, we're a great vacation spot. I want you to come check us out. Passing through, uh, stop and check us out. We're a great destination. Uh, for one of the one of the things that we have, one of the reasons we have these wonderful festivals, like what's going on now, it goes, it's a nine-day festival, an art festival, music, food, uh, visual art, everything that you can think of. Lots of stuff for the kids. There's even a, there's even a, a place where they were watching like a, a, the... Uh, the Saints football game. So if you're a football fan, you can go watch uh, your local professional football, whatever, while your family runs around because they really don't want to, you know, I mean, unless you have a, a family of football players or football, football fans or whatever. I'm not a football fan, but in case y'all never knew. I watch the Super Bowls, you know. Okay, so... um, Yeah, okay. So one of my favorite... Uh, acts that we're playing today, uh, the Jonah Tones, and they'll be playing again Wednesday. Uh, so I'll go back and see them Wednesday, uh, local. Uh, we run into each other every once in a while, and it's like, hey, it's like like she'll recognize, but then I'll maybe have to kind of remind, you know, the singer of who I am or whatever. And then it's like, oh, yeah, but, you know, it's like, eh, you know. Uh, it doesn't help that I look <laughs> completely different. Like I changed my hair color every few weeks anyway, so by the time – uh, <laughs> that someone comes around to see me again. It's like, oh, I'm, you know, I look like somebody else by that time. To me, uh, it's the same me. And if you if you watch these videos, I don't change that much from day to day. But over time, it's like, oh my god, your 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 whole like style or something is different or whatever. Except I still won't shut the hell up. And um, okay, so, but then I I was kind of cool. I got to she's her band, the Jonatons. She's very um audience particip participatory like here let me let me put this uh you know hand percussion in your hand she's really good about getting the audience to do that and i i did that for a little while and it was like for for just a moment i got to pretend like i was uh hey i'm making music you know uh at, with a cowbell but my my video was my my phone was just being uh it was tired <laughs> It needed to sleep, and right before I was just, you know, right before that little song, it was uh, got started. Uh, but I was so good. I, you would have been so happy. I was, I'm like, my timing, you know. You can do it with that with like, you know, if you get, with the percussion. All you have to do is know how to count. You go one and two and three and four, and then if you want to to hit it faster than you would go one two three four you would not do the and uh, <laughs> uh, uh, or whatever uh, it depended upon where the tempo is if you're doing a four count or a three count or you know it's just, you know uh, I, I'm yeah it was fun okay but I got excited uh, posting videos from other uh, uh, bands that were playing and stuff you know like I, I got caught up this one band that was playing like some songs that I really do like. I, I, I really didn't think uh, from look, you never, never judge a book by its cover. You know, I knew that the, from hearing their, uh, hearing their uh, warm up and stuff like that, I knew that they'd be able to play, but they were doing some, some, some original songs, but they were also doing some covers of some songs that I, that I like. And said, so, boy, I'm really tired. You can always tell I, I start to slur when I get tired, uh, but they were really good. They were really good. Um, and I did like about 20 minute video of them that, that's, uh, gotta be loaded soon. Um, and then I gotta, I've gotta like post this video and then I've gotta go down and take a video of a view that I just discovered walking back. And I don't know if I noticed it before. See, I'm a, one of the things that I do is I paint and earlier way back, let me, maybe like 
two years ago almost, whenever I first started this this YouTube channel, because I ended my Facebook uh, experience, I was like, fuck them. What happened was I was trying to close out. I was trying to transition from my uh, Facebook, which was like uh, about 11 or 12 years old, and I was transitioning everything over to YouTube. For one thing, it's... <clears throat> I feel like YouTube is kind of more secure. You know, I, I don't get uh, spam, you know, ridiculous bullshit. You know, if I do it, so, you know, well, actually, I don't, you know, uh, I probably comment a lot more than I post, but I don't do, I got tired of the sex politics and religions and all, and all that BS that goes on Facebook and a whole bunch of opinions that... Uh, are not really backed by actual fact, but just by guesses, wild guesses uh, and stuff. So it's like, that's just, hey, you know, uh, uh, that's, you know, and just the, the whole like hostility of all that situation and it wasn't working. So I was closing up my Facebook as, uh, and I closed it and then it was going to take about uh a month or so, when you delete, when you want to delete everything on, on a Facebook, I guess they're calling it meta now, all that kind of stuff. They say it takes about a month and a month and a half is what they were telling me. But in the meantime, as soon as I started to close it down, then it got hacked. And my friends and family were got, get, get, given some sort of fake, uh, what is it, uh, um, fundraising thing. That's something else. I don't think people should... I don't, I don't know. I, I feel like, I mean, you can maybe announce a fundraiser that's happening, but probably shouldn't happen. You should probably shouldn't fundraise on social media other than to announce the fundraising. But then, you know, like if you have a fundraising event, go out in your damn community, go out and fundraise in your community. You know, like if I, they, they were like, I, you know, pretending to be me. Hey, I'm sick. I need supplies and stuff. Please help me or whatever. Uh, this, and it went around to a bunch of people saw it and stuff like that. And, and if that were the case, if I were sick, uh, first off, I've got some kick-ass uh, insurance. I really do. But if I if I needed help with that, um, I would go to uh, the appropriate charitable organizations and get the help that I need. I would not burden my uh, nearby friends and family. I had like you know, an ex-girlfriend that I dated right after high school, you know, that I hadn't really seen. I'm like, like was donating a little bit of money. And it's like, oh, and then I heard about it. I heard about it from my sister because I no longer even had access to, to that Facebook account. And it's like, oh my God, my cousin. Uh, in, in, uh, anyway, that's, that's why I canceled the, the Facebook. I was closing it out. And then after that, I was like, well, I don't want, I definitely don't want to do any, anything really associated with uh, uh, that kind of stuff. So I was like, that was, you know, Facebook, Meta, any of that. I don't care. It's just, I, it's not safe. It's not safe. I don't know that YouTube is any safer uh, or X, which is formerly Twitter, but I do know that I'm not participating in those types of uh conversations about sex politics it's it's you know those are important conversations to have but not blindly with a bunch of people that you don't know if they're registered voters or not i mean who, who you know whatever anyway um did you go all the way back to my youtube when i started it and you can see that i was a painter uh, and then I had some paintings hanging and, and stuff, you know, a lot of things that I did. And one of the paintings that I did has a essence to me that I cannot recall. It's like, where is this? Um, you know, it felt prophetic. I did not understand. And then I realized, you know, that the, the, what I've, what I've created in my mind and put on the canvas was some sort of prophetic visage of, of, of downtown where I've seen from downtown and it's like okay well I feel like maybe something something a little bit you know prophetic because I ended up uh, within a couple of years later I ended up moving into uh, the building that represents that's very closely related 
you know, the skyline to the structure that I had painted. And this was the very first painting I ever did. And then there are other parts of it that seems kind of secretive and mysterious, and I don't know what's going on with it or whatever. And I just kind of like let it be what it was. And then today I caught a glimpse of a bit of downtown, and I just don't know why. I never noticed it before because it is just a couple of blocks up from where I live. And so I'm going to go back and try to find a, uh, um, you know, I'm going to try to find that, that visage uh, and take a picture of it. And then what I want to do is I want to compare it, uh, you know, to um, the painting that I don't have anymore. That uh, actually I did. I ended up not even selling this one. I ended up giving it away when I was when I was moving, and I was like downsizing a lot of things. And people in the building that I was moving out of, it's got a. I, I like I was there for several years, but it's got a, a you know, a, a heavy turn. It's where people go when they're kind of coming up. You know what I mean? It's not you know people don't move there because they have a lot of money. They move there because they don't have a lot of money. These are people who move in and they they move into their apartment and it's their first apartment and they're sleeping on a, 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 a towel or a blanket on the floor while they're waiting to get furniture kind of place, you know, at first. Uh, fortunately, I, I had uh, furniture and, you know, nobody nobody accomplishes anything coming from uh, ground zero, you know, uh, by themselves or whatever. But yeah, I, I gave a lot of that stuff away instead of throwing it out, you know. Uh, um, anyway, uh, that's kind of cool. I get a kick out of if I make a painting and someone has uh, some uh, some of my art in their house, I get a kick out of that. But I'm going to post this video and then I'm going to go check out that uh, a picture of what's going on there. So uh, in the meantime, I just want to say uh, God bless, love, and might, peace. Good night. Oh, Sophie B. Hawkins, Wednesday. Uh, after that, Thursday, there's a uh, Tom Petty tribute band. Now, I've actually seen them before. Uh, they were they they came. What a, I went with my friend Crystal before she married, because I was friends with Crystal. And then later on, she married one of my other best friends, Mike. They barely even knew each other uh, at the time. I think they maybe had known each other, but, you know, not not really socially or whatever, but knew of each other, you know. But but then Mike, uh, uh, kept, you know, had he went through a d divorce with his wife, and then after a couple of years, he bumped into Crystal, and they ended up uh, uh, dating in a short term, and, and that made sense. Those, those guys, they they deserve they 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 deserve to uh, to be married. They they are so much alike, and they're so good together. Uh, but anyway. Um, but, but before they got married, I, I was really good friends with Crystal, and we went to see uh, the Tom Petty tribute band. They're going to be playing uh, here uh, Thursday also. We, Tom Petty is no longer with us, but uh, these guys are great, uh, and they'll do them justice. Anyway, um, so look forward to all that. And again, love and light. Peace. Good night.